Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about addition of integers. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to accurately add integers with the same signs and add integers with different signs and correctly solve real life problems involving the addition of integers. So these are the questions that we want uh, to answer. We want these questions to be answered at the end of the lesson. How will you find the sum of integers with the same sign and different signs? How will you solve real life problems involving signed integers? How do you define a positive integer? How do you define a negative integer? How do you add integers? So integers, um, the combination of the set of whole numbers and the negative count counterparts of natural numbers. So we have positive and negative numbers and zero. So we have examples of integers are 35, negative 35, positive 21, zero. So again, just like what I said in my previous um, video, kapag ka ang number ay walang sign, it's um, automatic considered as positive. So when we read positive numbers, we can say positive numbers or positive number or positive 35, pero pwede nang wala yung word na positive. So 35, so automatic na yun na considered as positive. Okay? Um, positive integers, these are integers greater than 0. Or kung nasa number line tayo, those are the numbers to the right of 0. Example, 25, 16, 5. When we say negative integers, those are integers less than 0. So kung nasa number line, those are the numbers to the left of 0. So that's negative 16, negative 100, negative 2000, and so on. Zero, this is the integer that is neither positive nor negative. So, ibig sabihin ang zero, wala siyang sign. Okay? Zero talaga siya. So, when illustrated using a number line, positive integers are found to the right of zero. And the negative integers are found to the left of zero. So, yung zero talaga na sa gitna and it doesn't have any sign. Addition of integers with the same sign. So, when we say the same sign, um, the addends are, are all uh, negative or lahat sila positive. So, to add integers with the same sign, we just have to add their absolute values and affix the common sign to the sum. So, if you do not know what absolute value is, um, I, uh, I uh, recommend that you watch my previous video about absolute values. So, example, the sum of negative 21 and negative 26 is negative 47. How, how, how did we do that? So, we have your negative and negative, so they have the same signs. So, we just have uh, to add the, or we just have to add the, the absolute values of uh, the two integers. So, the absolute value of negative 21 is 21. And the absolute value of negative 26 is 26. So basically, that's 21 plus 26. And so that gives us 47. And the sign of the integers are uh, common. So that's negative, negative, so that's negative 47. So in symbols, we have this as negative 21 plus negative 26. And that is equal to negative 47. So take note negative and negative so common sign so we add the two integers or we add the absolute values of the two integers and so we have 47 and then copy the common sign so this is the same as this one is the same as negative 21 positive negative yung dominant yan kapag magkadikit ang positive and negative that becomes negative okay, so this is a simpler way to represent this, ito siya. So, negative 21 minus 26. So, negative, negative. So, common sign is negative. And then, we add 21 and 26. That is 47. Another example. Find the sum of negative 12 and negative 23. So, find the absolute values of the addends. The absolute value of 12, of negative 12 is 12. And the absolute value of negative 23 is 23. Thus, we have 
negative 12 plus negative 23. So, magkadikit yung plus sign at saka negative sign that becomes negative. So, this is negative 12 minus 23. So, we have here common sign negative negative. So, we copy the common sign. And then, we add 12 and 23. So, that's 35. So, the answer is negative 35. Let's try these. Number 1, negative 20 plus negative 5. And so, magkadikit ang plus at saka negative. This becomes negative. So, negative 20 minus 5. Common sign sila negative. So, we add 20 and 5. So, that's 25. And then, we copy the common sign which is negative. So, the answer is correct. Negative 25. Number 2, negative 14 minus 2. So, they, we have the same signs, negative. So, we copy the common sign negative and then we add 14 and 2. The answer is, right, negative 16. Next one, we have negative 5 plus negative 3. Pareho lang siya sa number 1. So, this becomes negative 5 minus 3. So, common and negative, we copy the common sign negative. And then we add 5 and 3. So that gives us negative 8. Last one. Negative 2 minus 1. So we have common sign. Negative, we copy the common sign which is negative. 2 plus 3, that's 3. So the answer is negative 3. Now how do we add integers with different signs? Different signs meaning yung isa positive, ang isa negative. Or ang isa negative, ang isa positive. So, to add integers with different signs, find their absolute value, subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value, and then affix the sign of the integer with the larger absolute value. Example, the sum of negative 98 and 102 is 4. How did we get that? In symbols, this is negative 98 plus 102. Notice that they have different signs. This is negative and this is positive. So, what we do is we subtract them. We have 102 minus 98 and that gives us 4. And then copy the sign of the larger absolute value. That is 102. The sign is positive. So, therefore, our answer is positive 4. Another example. Find the sum of negative 34 and 26. Find their absolute values. So the absolute value is negative 34, that's 34. The absolute value of 26, that's 26. And so we have negative 34 plus 26. We have negative and we have positive. So therefore, we subtract them. 34 minus 26, that is 8. And copy the sign of the larger absolute value that is negative. So the answer is negative 8. Now evaluate the following. Negative 20 plus 5. We have your negative and we have positive so they don't have the same signs. So we subtract 20 minus 5 that gives us 15. And then copy the sign of the larger absolute value. So that's 20. The sign is negative. So the answer is negative 15. Negative 2 plus 14. So they have different signs. So we subtract 14 minus 2. That gives us 12. And what's the sign of the larger integer? That's 14. So the answer is positive 12. 5 plus negative 8. So that becomes 5 minus 8. So we have positive here and we have negative. So different signs. We subtract. 8 minus 5, that gives us 3. And the sign of the larger absolute value is negative. So the answer is negative 3. Last one, 2 minus 6. So different signs sila because 2 is positive, 6 is negative. So we subtract. 6 minus 2, that gives us 4. 
and the sign of the larger absolute value is negative, so the answer is negative 4. Now let's practice. A basketball team lost 5 games in the elimination round and lost 2 games in the quarterfinals. How many games in total were lost by the team? Illustrate the situation as addition of integers, then solve. So, yung basketball team daw, natalo sila ng limang beses, five games. And then, dalawa pang games sa quarterfinals. So, ang question, ilan lahat ang natalo nila? So, when we say lost five games, the word lost refers to a negative connotation. Okay, negative yung meaning yan. So, we represent that with a negative number. So, that's negative 5. Then, they lost another 2 games. So, that's negative 2. The question is, how many games total were lost by the team? So, we add these 2. So, that becomes negative 5 plus negative 2. So, positive, negative, that becomes negative. So, we have negative 5 minus 2. We have the same signs. So, we add them. 5 plus 2, that's 7, and we copy the sign of, or we copy the common sign that's negative. So the answer is negative 7. Therefore, the team lost a total of 7 games. Another practice. Rose parked her car on basement 3, which is 3 floors down from the ground floor. She rode the elevator and went nine floors up. On what floor did Rose go off the elevator? So, si Rose nasa basement 3 siya. Yung basement 3, 3 floors yan galing sa ground floor. Or 3 floors below or down the ground floor. Okay, nasa ilalim ng ground floor. So, she rode the elevator, umakyat siya ng nine floors up. So, ang tanong ngayon, Saan bumaba? Sa anong floor bumaba si Rose? Basement 3, 3 floors down from the ground floor. So, we connote uh, this as a negative connotation. So, we re represent that as a negative integer. So, that's negative 3. Ngayon, she went up 9, uh, she went 9 floors up. So, this is um, a positive Connotation, so we, we represent that with a positive integer. So that's 9. And so, adding the 2, we have negative 3 plus 9. Or they have different signs. Negative ang 3, positive ang 9. So we subtract them and we copy the sign of the larger absolute value. So 9 minus 3, that gives us 6. And the larger absolute value is 9, so that's positive, and so the answer is positive 6. Therefore, Rose went off the elevator at the 6th floor.